This is Amphibia, home to Crush, the snapping turtle, tadpoles, and a variety of fish. Roaming the bottom is Morpheus, the water dog, and random worms that just like to fall from the sky. It's also home to Bruce, the king of Amphibia. But will he remain king by the end of this video? It all started with some styrofoam that I shaped into rocks and then painted it and glued it to the glass. I added some substrate and plants and filled the whole thing with water. And voila, Amphibia was born. On day 60, our tadpoles are still just tadpoles. They are not ready to grow up just yet. But Morpheus, on the other hand, has begun his transformation. Overnight, he lost his gills and now roams the land portion. This is his first day on land. His tail no longer has a fin and his gills have vanished as he develops his lungs. I decided to feed him in a separate tank just to make sure that he was eating. These crickets are high in calcium as I gut loaded them beforehand. I thought this would make a good first meal. Friends, I would like you to meet Morpheus, the tiger salamander. The cycle starts off as eggs, which hatch into larvae with gills. Within a month, they will grow and develop front legs. And in two months, they develop back legs. And it could take up to a year for a larva to become a salamander based on living conditions. But right now, an outsider is invading the tank. Mosquito larva. Once they are here, they can cause damage, leeching off the animals and spreading diseases. Not to mention, when they become a mosquito, they will attack me too. I needed a natural predator to eliminate the larva before it's too late. The mosquito fish. His main diet is larva. But they also feed on bloodworms and leeches. And this baby bottom feeder is a catfish. His main duty is to keep the swamp floor clean, just like these little guys. Crawfish. They scavenge all day for food, eating anything from dead plants to dead fish to algae. But when Bruce arrives, every creature hides. He takes his time and makes sure that he eats everything left behind. But something has caught his attention. A baby crawfish trying to cut off his eyeball. This type of behavior is normal as crawfish aren't very smart. And they also don't like to share. Stuffing their faces one at a time until all the food is gone. Up on land, another battle is happening before our eyes. Lizzie is battling with gravity. As this cricket is drowning, Lizzie must act fast before the turtle gets it. She rescues the cricket and takes it up to safety. Just look at how awesome of a climber she is. Hiding in the cork log, Morpheus is all by himself and lonely. So I got him some friends. Meet the twins. This duo wastes no time hunting 
and looking for food like a pack of wild dogs. And over here is Crush, minding his own business, eating some worms. And he's about to meet the twins for the very first time. They come face to face when one of the twins snaps at him over and over and over again. But Crush has learned to stand his ground. So the twins circle him in an attempt to scare off Crush. And what happens next is unbelievable. They leave. Crush showed no fear and can now eat his dead leaf in peace. That night a major rainstorm appeared, bringing in more moisture for the plants and animals to grow. But little do they know, it would be the last rainstorm for years. The water levels were higher than they've ever been before. Even Morpheus came out for a deep swim. Pillow moss was now forming, creating a beautiful landscape of greenery. And Crush discovered a new way of fishing. He goes under the water, hanging over the cliff, snatching fish as they swim by. And Bruce decided to be a mountain climber. But his lack of balance sent them back into the deep water. Then one day, the stream stopped feeding the swamp. And day after day after day, the water levels dropped, ironically, for 40 days. All the animals began to panic as water levels got dangerously low, leaving behind a big canyon a massive canyon but most people would say it was grand <laughs> 